Hello guys and welcome back to Godly Motivation. Today we want to talk about Psalms 100. There is perhaps no better place in scripture to look to find genuine, constant thanksgiving to God than in the Psalms. When we look around today after we wake up in the morning, it is easy to worry about how things are going to work out. You may have concerns about your children, you may be concerned about a problem at work, you may be concerned about your relationship, a health problem, or even a financial situation. And my friends, uncertainty can bring anxiety and cause us to live worried and in stress while we think about all these problems. We look to things in the short term, but God has been working out his plan for your life for generations even before you got here. Long before you were born, he has been lining up what you need, everything that you desire. He has been arranging things to fall into place so that you can feel fulfilled in your purpose. Today we are going to focus on Psalm 100 and I just ask you to follow along while I speak. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all he lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God, and it is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. Remember that we are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. We should enter into his gates with thanksgiving every morning, and into his courts with praise. So my friends, be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and his truth it endures to all generations. So yes, we all go through disappointments and things that we do not understand, even on a daily basis, and sometimes from the people that we love. We make mistakes and we bring trouble on ourselves. Sometimes we don't see how we can accomplish our dreams and we feel as though we are in captivity and we are completely confused. But that is not the end of the story. God has you covered. As with the Israelites, sometimes you have to go through the pain to get to the purpose, through the weeping to get to the joy, through the struggle to get to the abundance. So if you remain faithful, you're going to see what God has been working on for generations just for you. You're going to come into the house that you didn't build. You are going to come into the vineyard that you did not plant. Some of us are going to walk in that promotion that we didn't think we deserve. Mercy is going to overtake us whenever we feel as though we should have been judged. So you don't know what God is up to but you know that he has you in his hands. What looks like a setback is really a setup that's positioning you for new levels of your destiny. David says in Psalm 31, 14 verse 15, God, I trust you. My future is in your hands. So let us follow suit and think on these words. Quit worrying about tomorrow. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. When you wake up in the morning and you don't feel like getting out of bed, lift up your hands and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Come before him. Thank him that you are even awake. Thank him that you are healthy. Thank him that you woke up to see your family members. Thank him that you woke up to see the sunshine on a brand new day when so many people did not. Stop worrying about tomorrow. Your future has already been set in God's hands. He's already worked out everything that you think you're worried about now and the things that you may even worry about next year. So why don't you come back to a place of peace, a place of faith? What he has started in your life, he is definitely, surely, and most certainly going to finish. One of the greatest benefits of following Jesus is knowing that with him you cannot lose. Your friends may say something different. Your boss may say something different. Even the people close to you may say something different. But personally you know, if you follow Jesus directly, 
you cannot lose because he is with you no matter what you face you are able to overcome things will not always be easy but if you are determined to keep moving forward you will indeed make progress in your relationships in your finances your career and your emotional well-being the only way you can lose is if you give up and turn your eyes away from god so be determined today to stay the course even in the toughest circumstance god is with you he has promised to never leave your side if you hold on to these promises you will live a bold confident and determined life now i'm just gonna say a quick morning prayer with you you can just follow along while i pray lord we come before you today with thanksgiving in our heart we thank you for helping us to wake up to see this beautiful new day sometimes we go through things and they hurt they cause us to feel angry and sometimes they help us to forget all the things that we should be grateful for lord we thank you for the food that we eat on a daily basis we thank you for health even though we remember those who are sick and we ask you to come through for them we thank you for friends and we remember the friendless we thank you for freedom and we remember those who may still be enslaved in so many ways may these remembrances stir us to service that your gifts to us may be used for others we thank you father god for always remembering us even when we do not remember you we look to you for a wonderful day we look to you for a wonderful week we thank you that you have us covered even when we feel worried we thank you that when we don't know where to turn we can always turn to you and you will always be there with a listening ear for everyone under the sound of my voice i ask that you bless them today and bless them as they go into this week we ask that you cover their families under your blood we ask that you guide them through to the favor and the purpose that you have for their lives we ask that you help them to turn to you when times of trouble come near many of us father god have plans on our hearts for our future for our families for our careers and things that we want to do sometimes we get so confused and we get so discouraged help us to remember to make a joyful noise to you and serve you with gladness even in the bad times many of us forget about you father god even when things are going well and we only come to you when we are in trouble forgive us father god and help us to remember that you are god in the good times and in the bad times and there is nothing too big for you even when it is too big for us we thank you for always being there and we ask you to open new doors for us that will extend to our families and our generations. We thank you for all that you've done and all that you're doing. We thank you for everything that you are going to do. And we ask you, Father God, to cleanse our hearts from the things that we know deep down you are not pleased about. Help us not just to come to you when we need something. Help us to stay with you through the day, even when we go through our situations. Bless us and give us gifts and talents that we can use to move forward in ways that you would have us move forward. Give us courage, Father God, to speak up when things are not going right and to stand for you even when no one else does. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your guidance and we ask you to just have your own way today. Cover us under your blood. Grant us happiness, laughter, good relationships, good health, good careers. Help us to grow in you and grow in love. Thank you for your presence and we ask you to help us to have a great day, a great week and a blessed wonderful year. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. If you've made it this far in this video, I simply ask that you give this video a thumbs up and if you have not done so already, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate you and we thank you for watching. God bless you all and may you all have yourself a blessed, a prosperous and a faith-filled rest of your day.